Joubert. I'm 18 years old. I won uh, the Skate America 2002. I live in Poitiers, a small city, 50,000 um, people. I have two sisters, one dog, and uh, my nickname is uh, Babu. I like to listen to music. I like Destiny Child, Jennifer Lopez. My hobby is uh, to drive a um, small car, race car. I started to skate uh, when I was um, four years old because my, my sister skated before and I, I wanted to do the same thing. And I want to be the Olympic champion in 2006. Well, if he does break through at the Olympic Games, he'd be the first Frenchman since Philippe Candeloro to medal at the Olympics. He did it back in 94, 98. I think this guy will keep his shirt on, though. Un unlike Philippe most of the time. Brian Joubert, only 19 years of age, and the bronze medalist from the Grand Prix final last year. Sweden when he got that silver medal last year and he was just terrific. Uh, I question whether he can keep this same energy that he had last year. I haven't seen it so much in practice. Uh, he needs to really step up here. And begin with the quad toe, left foot jabs in for four rotations and he flips out of that and does a double toe. Judges are expecting to see a flowing edge without uh, any turns in between the first jump and the second jump. And they'll take off for that. Look how fast his feet move. Good agility. That's neat. I'd like to see the circle a little bit bigger, but reminiscent of Alexi Yagudin, isn't it, Terry? A bit? Well, and speaking of him, it, let's give Joubert credit. It was at Skate America last year when he burst onto the scene winning the gold medal, but it was because Yagudin withdrew with the injury, Absolutely. which eventually became that hip right. injury, and now led to his retirement from eligible skating. So it, it's unlikely Joubert would have won the gold medal there had Yagud not gotten hurt. But I, I tell you, he's taking a page out of his book and trying to capture that same excitement. He's not at that level, don't get me wrong, but, uh, you know, things like this, where he does this little jig, he's taking that right from Yagud, you know. <laughs> not as effective, but still pretty interesting. what time it is anyway but uh too bad to have that turnout on the quad toe like that now so how much it costs them um brian joubert coming in as one of the favorites certainly timothy gable the overall favorite but uh had a great shot coming in coming in we'll see where he is after the short program he gets plenty of height on this quad toe but the key is you have to stop the rotation in order to get up for the second jump you can see he flips right out of that He'll minus two that on that combination. And he is quick here. Nice, fast turns. And I'd like to see that circle a little bit bigger, but still, for the most part, counter rotation, showing changes of position. Judges want to see that to judge the agility of the skater. Now, no matter what spot he's in, he wants to be within shouting distance of that 70.25 put on the board by Song Gao. 
That's the main thing. You can almost throw out the placements heading to the free skate. It's the numbers, the total right, that matters. How close you are. Yeah, and, and you add up the two sets right here. His overall total for the short program, Peter, 65-67. So Brian Joubert of France, the French national champion, currently in fourth place after this short program. So check.